All right, so I was gonna start off with today's video is the install of the pedal commander, but it's late at night and I'm editing the video. So it starts from this morning to midday to evening now. And uh, I just wanna let you know, we're installing the pedal commander. It takes a whole lot of five minutes to unplug and plug it in. Just remember to read all the instructions, unplug or keep your key 35 feet away from your vehicle when you plug it in but man it, it only takes like five seconds and watch the whole video and you'll find out at the end my thoughts enjoy and this is how the pedal commander comes in a cool box i'm actually going to keep this box and use it for something in camping because it's got a slide topper on it now it won't do work for me what the heck? I don't think I can do it with one hand. A few moments later. <laughs> you gotta push this way, Randy. Not that way. Look at that. It's just that easy. I was pushing this way. Too funny. Anyway, take that off. There's your little instructions. Literally, these are the instructions. You guys will love this. Unplug and plug. Yeah, idiot, but you didn't look at the right-hand page that's on there that told you not to be near the vehicle with your key. So we'll take it out of here. Got the cables. Got some cleaner. Got some Velcro. All right, I'm going to hook it up and let you know. Oh, this is cool. Check it out. So it's got its own little holder so you can tape the holder anywhere and then that and this is a real pain in the butt video and then it goes in there like that so yeah I'm just trying to figure out where I should put it in the truck I think I might put it there I'm not too sure see how it sticks yeah I think I think right there would work all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your gas pedal you're going to follow it up and you're going to see this plug right here. I have my hand up and over this little vent unit and you're going to click, if I, if I can get my camera up in there, click and hold here and undo the plug and then you're going to take the plug from the pedal commander and put the male end in one side, female end in that side and it's hooked up. It should be just that easy. We'll find out. All right, let's see if I can get up in there. All right, have the pedal commander all plugged in. It's above everything. It's not gonna get tangled up. And then I ran it up underneath the dash. Yeah, they give you this awesome uh, alcohol swab too with it. So we're just gonna wipe this area off here. wash off my push button start and we'll get that clean then I'll clean the back of this and put the tape on and stick it well whatever's in that alcohol pad it just ate the plastic and I wiped it down with Windex as well and some water just to see if it was residue but yeah it just screwed that up Okay, so in the instructions on the pedal commander, it tells you to keep your key 35 feet away from the uh, car. Uh, make sure you do that because I didn't. And the truck lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, trash control, hill assist, uh, all wheel drive, everything. Every light you could think of came up on this. Unhook the battery let it sit for about 10 minutes so it reset everything and I restarted I disconnected the pedal commander and uh, restarted it all the codes are gone so I'm gonna start this over and uh, give it another try and let you know all right so I wanted to show you guys I did not end up sticking it over here because dude whatever you do don't put that alcohol swab on your stuff I don't know what it did but anyway, I'm just going to have it set up here like that, and then I can just reach for it outside the steering wheel. 
to do it. So what I'm going to do is start the car. Put your foot on the brake, Randy. And then you guys will see it light up. And as you can see, I haven't done the Bluetooth thing because I don't think I'm going to use it. But all you do is you just select what you want. Now it does City Sport and uh, Sport Plus, and then if you want the Eco, you click and hold, and then it goes to the Eco. But City, you click it again. I've been running in Sport. I think that's my favorite. Sport Plus is just a little too touchy. And then if you want to change it, let me go back to Sport. You can hit these plus and minuses. So if you want to increase or decrease, you can just you know hit these buttons here. So right now I'm at sport. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna leave it up there like that. And you know I ended up moving my uh, I'm gonna move this Velcro, but I ended up moving my scan gauge over uh, to that side. So as you can see, no more uh, error codes or anything. I've been running on it all day. No issues. All right, everybody, day one of the Pedal Commander. Uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I really like how um, it shifts upward, I guess, into a higher gear. Um, on my ridge line, I have the sixth gear, so it's, you know, six gear transmission, so it's in the sixth gear. On the newer vehicles with the nine speed transmission, it'll be in the ninth, the, the ninth speed. Um, if you've ever driven in a Accord or Civic and put it in sport mode or you put it in sequential mode on the Ridgeline Passport or Pilot, you know it's always in a lower gear, um, but I really like how the Pedal Commander gives you that little bit of extra response that you need when you push on the pedal. Um, All Wheel Drive Festival's coming up. I'm really excited to test it out there to see if it's on an incline, if it gives me a little bit more short end or low end torque. Um, make sure you check out All Wheel Drive uh, Festival, which is coming up October 15th and 16th, awdfestival.com. 40 bucks per person is going to get you into the uh, OHV park, and you'll get a uh, grab bag. Ridgelinestore.com will be there. H&R Engineering will be there, as well as NOLO Designs. I think there will be some other sponsors that are going to be released here pretty soon, so it's pretty amazing. Um, in the video, the warning lights that I got, 100% my fault. I kept the key in my pocket, didn't read the directions, my fault until afterwards. So uh, make sure you keep your key away. Don't unplug and start the vehicle. That's another thing I did that was wrong. Uh, once you did that, I think that's what caused all my error codes. What I ended up doing was disconnecting the battery fully from the truck, letting it sit for about 15 minutes, let all the computers reset. Turn the vehicle back on, it was fine with the pedal commander, uninstalled, and then shut it off, walked in the house um, or the shop, dropped off the key, and then uh, went back, put in the pedal commander, went back and got my key, started the truck, no issues. So uh, I'll put some updates here moving forward in social media at campandrandy.com, or sorry, <laughs> uh, ridgelinestore.com, and you can follow us on social media at Camp and Randy. Um, and I'll put some updates uh, how it's going. Um, what's really cool is we sell it on the Ridgeline store, ridgelinestore.com. Ian over at Nolo Designs got the Sprint. Uh, and we're going back and forth uh, actually tonight uh, on Marco Polo talking about how he likes his, I like mine, back and forth. And then we're getting really excited about the All Wheel Drive Festival. Have any questions? Put them down in the comments below. I'm always checking the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.